the new single, or the relatively new single, somebody that I used to know became a big hit here in the Netherlands. Um, why did you choose that one as a single? Why? So, yeah, is there a reason behind it? Oh, I thought it was a strong song. I thought um, it had an emotional sort of intensity to it that made it um, good. So where did that emotion come from? It's a bit of a, a mixture of various reflections on relationships and experiences from over the years. There's an element of fiction in it as well. Um, yeah, it's not about one specific relationship, I guess. Um, but again, it was a response, you know, the, what the song ended up being about was a response to a sound. Um, the little guitar riff that starts the song off was the first thing that I found. And I don't know, it had a certain hypnotic pull to it. And it was a response to that that made me start the kind of very low reflective melancholy verse lyric and melody. And so, so where did you find this little guitar sound? Uh, it's from a record called Seville by Louis Bonfa. So what, what, it, what attracted you to it? I really like samples like that, that on their surface are very, very simple. Mm -hmm. um, this particular one, just the two notes looped over and over again, just had a really hypnotic quality to it. I can't really describe what it is. I've wondered about it because there's a few things I've been able to glean about, you know, that sample like that with the first note is played heavier than the second, that it's a little bit out of tune, that they're not both kind of in tune with each other, that the D is a bit sharp and that the C is more on concert pitch. And I've wondered, you know, is it because of that, that when I'm looping them endlessly that they have a strange hypnotic quality? But for whatever reason, um, I usually like those samples that they seem very innocuous at first and then they seem to reveal a certain power or something when you loop them. And that's the type of feeling that puts me in a certain headspace to then respond with, a, with starting a song. So how did you then kind of form the lyric together with the sound? Where did, for you, where did it come from for you? I don't know where the first lyrics usually come from. It's somehow it's, it's that response just purely to the sound and to the feeling from something like a loop. Um, I don't know, it's sort of you just pull something, something to start you off. One line or a word or, you know, the beginning of... You might start without words. I sometimes am just staying going... Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And um, sometimes the gobbledygook, I guess, that starts um, is good because it gives you a certain limit, I guess, of, um, well, I feel like going, uh, the, that that kind of, uh, that that consonant is the right sound to have at that point in this melody. And then you start thinking about what words have that consonant there and which words have the consonant. And so sometimes the kind of gobbledygook lyrics you just start playing around with do actually lead to real words and then... Mm -hmm that's when I guess those words kind of tell you maybe what the song could be about. So you said the song is about previous relationships. Can you tell a little bit more about that? Um, I feel like some relationships that have broken up um, with me, uh, I still sometimes, you still find yourself uncertain about how you feel about them a long time later. Um, I don't know, is it about that? Yeah, I just, I feel like sometimes you, um, you end up either forgetting how you felt and what it was to be with a certain person, what your relationship was like, or maybe you realise uh, you had a... you weren't even really sure how you felt uh, or how the other pe person really felt about you. Um, I think it was as much me just wanting to write a song about how sometimes it feels like you never really know where you stand with somebody. You might be very much in love and be professing love to them, but that doesn't necessarily mean you both feel the same way. And similarly, if you know you've had a kind of a difficult breakup, um, you both might feel quite different about how you reflect on what your relationship was like. Sometimes, you know, the negativity that can come out of a breakup can reflect negatively on what were actually quite good points in your relationship. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, I just was trying to write a song, I guess, about um, that multiplicity of feelings and the confusion that can arrive, you know, after a relationship mm -hmm. breaks up. Because in the song you're singing about that you felt alone in someone's company. What, is, what do you mean by that? That was, yeah, I think that was, that's very much related to being a teenager or not, not quite connecting with somebody, like wanting to connect with them but feeling like you can't, there's a part of them you can't really access or like you, you don't really understand them. That's what that's about, I guess. So uh, you worked, worked together with uh, Kimbra? Yeah. So how did it start? Um, well, I'd written that female part in the song and I had attempted it with a few different vocalists and um, wasn't sort of really working out completely. And then Francois Tites, who I mix my records with, he suggested, yeah, 
asking Kimbra, and it was from the second we demoed some vocals together, it was really clear that she was going to do something really special. So it went from there. Okay, so why did you especially write, wrote a female part in that song? Did you manage to do it, or was that, was that um, an intention when you were writing the song? Um, not from the start. I wrote that song very linearly, so first verse, the hook, the little instrumental bit that goes between the verses, the next verse had a bit of a break because I wasn't sure how to go from there, then wrote the chorus, and when I got to the end of the first chorus, I, I sort of felt like there wasn't anything else to say with that voice, um, and so then I kind of went, oh, okay, this song needs another voice. Right. So yeah, it was very much a one thing responding to another, which prompted something else. <laughs> 